So it's August of 2024. Uh, the Broadway Mall is about to close down in Hicksville, New York. I want to create a sensationalistic sitcom episode, an SSE. I'm trying to think about an interesting character in my life that I could write a funny story about. But unlike my college years, I can't think of anyone absurd. And those who are, they're probably not okay with me writing about them. Like an ex-girlfriend's father, for example. So I'll write about a location I frequent, the Broadway Mall. There is a shopping mall in Hicksville, New York. I grew up in Levittown, just one town away. I'd frequently go there in my childhood. I went on dates there in my 20s. I've been to the Broadway Mall at least once with all my girlfriends. I've even been on unsuccessful dates there. But around 2014, I started coming weekly with the Swell Boys, my childhood friends. Don't get me wrong, I like the Swell Boys, but I was frustrated getting food with the Swell Boys. I'd rather be socializing with women. I also came regularly with my dad. For a while, I'd go to the Broadway Mall just to walk around and get out of the house. Massapequa is far away from Hicksville. I'm not sure why I drove from Massapequa to the Mid-Island just for the mall. Maybe it made me feel part of the world. I liked the atmosphere of the mall. I needed socialization in a life. And I'd wander the mall like a lost soul because I was in a chaotic home environment. The restaurants we'd eat at were Buffalo Wild Wings, On the Border, Hook and Real Ramen Restaurant. There is a bubble tea stand, a Target too. There is a movie theater where, where I like to watch movies. There was a Macy's I like to shop at, but it has since closed down, which is too bad. I used to work at Macy's during the holiday of 2015 for like a week. There is an arcade round one, it's big in Japan. The Swell Boys like it. We played pool there, bowled, wanted to sing karaoke, played games, ate there. I like that round one exists, but at 37 years old, I'm a little too old for it. I hope it succeeds because it's fun. Someone joked with the amount of time I wasted at the Broadway Mall, they should put a picture of me on the wall as their biggest customer. Security knows me. I used to get paranoid mall security was observing me but now I'm a familiar face. When I go to doctor's appointments like my psychopharmacologist, I often park and meet my dad halfway. Then he drives and meets me there. The Broadway Mall is in the middle of Long Island. I'm on the South Shore and my dad is on the North Shore. So it's the halfway point between us. But now it seems like the Broadway Mall is closing down. Now it seems like it's gonna become a ghost mall. And it's too bad because I have a lot of memories there.